All right, history in the making tonight here at Northern Quest as the 2012 Women's Boxing Olympic Trials are set to begin tonight here at the Q. Now, 24 female boxers from across the country, including three Washington natives, three different weight classes, and ultimately just three champions that will move on to the world competition in China this May. Now, these women are the best of the best in USA women's boxing, all vying for a shot to advance to the 2012 London Olympic Games. It's exciting. It's finally here. Um, this is unbelievable. I'm actually going to be one of the first and uh, just making history. This is not going to happen again. I, I, I really feel blessed and I really feel that this is something that I can tell my kids and everybody. This is just going down the book. So I'm very excited and happy. College hoops and talking Gonzaga basketball. They're back in the top 25 today, checking in at the 24 spot. Now, after convincing victories over St. Mary's and LMU, well, the Bulldogs improved to 10 and 2 in WCC play and are second in the conference. Up next for the Zags, though, a tough road trip to the Bay Area. We got to bottle it up and take it on the road now. We last year we lost both games down at these places, so we got to, you know, bottle up this energy and toughness and and uh, efficiency and and take it with us on the road. It's a revenge match. You know, we need to go in there. Uh, Get get ready. Um, it's been I don't think the last two last two years we've played down in San Francisco. They've beaten us, so I think we need to go down there with a tough mindset and just be hungry to play San Francisco. All right, freshman guard Kevin Pangos was named the WCC Player of the Week for the week. He went 16 for 18 from the field for 57 percent and 10 of 13 from three point land and perfect six for six from the line. He scored 27 points against St. Mary's. 21 against LMU. And in the WAC, Idaho's Kyle Barone was named the Conference Player of the Week after averaging over 15 points per game and 11 rebounds. The honor is his first in his career and the first by a Vandal this season. And in the big sky for the second straight week, Brianne Ryan was named the Conference Player of the Week after tying her career high 33 points against Weber State. Moving to some baseball and spring training is officially underway with Seattle's pitchers and catchers holding their first workout on Sunday. Now the Mariners started spring training a week ahead of the other teams because they will open its season early on March 28th in Japan against Oakland and this year's squad is a good blend of talents. Poor guys, I mean everybody's very nice, you know, I don't, nobody's uh, you know not open to talking to guys and and um, it, it's a good group. There's some good kids in there, and uh, the young guys seem like they're they're ready to learn and listen. And, and, and the veterans are, are all nice guys, and it, it, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun group of guys. But all the action here at Northern Quest starts at 7 p.m. And of course, we'll have your highlights and post-match reaction from the boxers tonight on SWX tonight, all starting at 10:30. Getting ready to rumble here. More news and weather right after the break.